hey YouTube, I was going through my Pokemon because I have hit Legend now, so I'm just going to have some fun. I was like, yeah, let's, I haven't used Clefable or Slam Slash much. They both got buff. Let's use them. And I was going through the rest of my Pokemon, and I'm just like, you know what? Not only is Greninja everywhere and the Mud Boys are everywhere, like Metacham is everywhere. Lantern is everywhere. I, I As soon as Greninja came out, I'm like, you know, if you watch that video, I said, you know what? I think Grass is officially underrated at this point. And so I tried Venusaur again, and and it is underrated. I used Venusaur for like multiple days now. It is such a strong Pokemon. It went away because um, the Owl came out everywhere. There are a bunch of Steels now too, like between Registeel and Ace. I mean, Ace is just as tough against it too. Um, but it has so many good matchups, and it hits so hard with the Frenzy and Nuge matchups. So I really think that this Pokemon, again, I won't talk about anything now because they're talking about big move updates, so who knows what that means. Um, but we will see what that move update is, but I think Venusaur for now is very, very underrated in this meta. And I would definitely start bringing it out more if you have it in this matchup. I won the mirror match CMP. So I fully expect a catch here, uh, because they lost CMP. So I expect to catch and they tried to catch a mirror match, which is a good attempt at a catch, but I was just aware of that. Um, and I now just hit them with a super effective Vine Whip. They could get to Earthquake and basically one-shot me because it's a Shadow. So I will shield this up. I will respect that Earthquake. I've played with Shadow Swampert enough to know that you need to respect it. Here comes the Metachamp. Metachamp, I'm actually going to do a video on Sunday. Because I'm going to be away this weekend from Friday to Sunday. So I'm going to do a video on Sunday. I'm going to shoot in advance of the top Pokemon used in the World Championship. And Metachamp is on was on 85% of the world teams, which is insane. Uh, but what is also great is Venusaur just two shot of that non-shadow version with two with two frenzies. So Venusaur with Metachamps everywhere, with um, with Fairies, with Lantern, with Swampert, with Greninja now, like in neutral matchups against Metacham, against Sableye, this thing is strong. This thing needs to come back more. Um, I say that as a, unfortunately, as a nine-tailed lover who cannot use it anymore. Go check out that video uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I cannot use again because there's no fire. Because fire is is useless right now. Good catch on the Venusaur. Very good catch on the Venusaur here. Uh, unfortunately, I will punish you. But um, fire is unfortunately useless in this meta outside of Charizard. But Charizard is mostly used as a flyer more as fire with i mean it's it's taking advantage of its flying type even though it's using blast burn to just nuke everything uh but, but outside of that like because i because i just mentioned there's too many things that just destroy fire right now right there's i already mentioned all the mud boys and lantern and stuff like that but there's also like now carbink which is the number one ranked pokemon there's bastionons which i saw everywhere again now too uh, there's Galarian Stunfisk with Rock that just outpaces you with the Rock Slides. So as a Rock type user, um, there's a bunch of Mud Boys. I'm not, I mean, not just Mud Boys, but just like Ground Pokemon, uh, or now freaking A Sand Slash and Dugong have Drill Run now. So even though you have good matchups against them, they can now hit you for like super effective and sometimes one shot. So it's it's tough. It is very 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 tough for Fire out there which just makes it that much better for Venusaur. Uh, because there's so much steel and ice and electric and st and like in Lantern and stuff like that, um, there's not a lot of flyers right now. So again, like every, I, I talked about in the other, eh, did I talk about in the other video? In the other video, I talked about like, uh, the top Pokemon, in my opinion, of, and I, again, I'll go over the top ranked meta of the Great League, and it's Carbink. So Carbink is ranked number one now, and I'm starting to see it more and more, and I expect to see it a ton come Global Go Fest. So Carbink, you do well against because it's rock. Registeel is tough. Um, the Shadow version will actually hold up way better against Registeel. The non Shadow is very tough. Clear and Stuffist, you hold up well against, and then you get your Bun Boys on here, Swampert, and stuff like that. Um, Metachamp, like I just said, Metachamp is kind of tricky. If you, if they either go for the Psychic or you call an Ice Punch bait, you will easily take that in the one shield. Neutral matchups, Lick Tongue, Scrafty, Sableye, 
like these are all um, these are all just like good matchups for Venusaur. Let me just put in the Great League meta into here. You won't see it because it's not on the screen though. Um, but it has like an eighteen twenty four record. The problem is it like still loses to Flyers, which are there are some like I see Altarian Charizard right away. But then you get like again, you beat Cresselia, you beat Defense Deoxys, um, you beat Lantern Lickitung. Like Lickitung is back as a good safe swap. It says Meta Champ you lose to uh, again. That that depends on the, that depends on whether you shield an Ice Punch or Psychic or not. Because I play that matchup and you will beat that there. Um, neutral matchup you're like even if with Obstagoon you you lose to Reggie, but it's actually 480 because I guess you do resist both moves, right? You resist Focus Blast and Zap Cannon, so they will take two to take you out. So you will it's only a very very small loss there. You beat Sableye with ease 750. You beat Scrafty. You beat Galarian Stunfisk. Obviously, the Mud Boys Swamper. You beat Umbreon. Um, so again, watch for Ice. Watch for Poisons that you can't really throw anything against. Watch for Flyers. Um, and like the Ice, Steel, and Sand Slash is a big loss. But other than that, you are great in sort of like neutral situations. Um, and you just hit so hard with the Frenzy. So I really think that Venusaur should be making a comeback. And if you're looking to push in the next 24 hours i guess before league turnover maybe a little more um try venusaur if you have it venusaur cover your again i you you can cover your fire weakness you don't need to cover your fire weakness like i'm double weak to fire on this team clefable is going to have a huge issue against fire and venusaur and i'm actually triple weak to fire because venusaur a sand slash and clefable are all going to get lit up by fire so someone has probably already mentioned that in the, in the comments that this team's going to get lit up by fire yep so you can switch the team up. I probably would switch this team up a bit. Again, I was just using it because they were buffed. But you could um, switch the other two Pokemon to cover fire. But again, you don't need to cover fire because cover fire is not around anymore. Um, you need to more mostly cover like ice. Like you need to cover ace. Like I would, I would actually build instead of using Clefable, I would do something if you want to cover fire and a sand slash. So you could do like a mud boy. Uh, like you can do. Swampert or Quagsire. I'd, I'd actually, no, you can't use Swampert because then you're going to have a tough time against Altaria. You can use like Quagsire that will do well with Stone Edge for Flyers. And then you can still run Ace if you want to be double weak to, that's fine. Um, something like that, right? So that's how you switch the team up if you want to. But yeah, team, try, try team building around Venusaur. I, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I think, I think, I think Grass is underrated at this point in the meta. The other two, Clefable and Sandslash. <sighs> Clefable's good. Uh, the Fairy Wind is a huge improvement for this Pokemon. Being able to just hit everything for... these At the beginning, I actually used Clefable in my first game of the season. First games of the season. I said, you know what? I'm kind of disappointed because in the Great League, it is... I still think it's better suited for Ultra League. Uh, but in the Great League, it is better suited for sorry it's better suited for ultra league um and the great league is just a little too glassy and it still takes two moves to take most things out um so that was my issue with clefable but it's still i think decent has some play a sand slash everyone loves a sand slash a sand slash was on a decent amount of um teams for the championship i think the issue with my a sand slash I have, I have two issues with a sand slash um one is i think i then i think non-shadow over shadow is a significant difference in great league and let me confirm that through pv poke rankings but i'm almost positive that there's a substantial difference in sand slash here there is rank 30 versus rank 64 shadows rank 30 um and non shadows rank 64 and you know what i feel that i do feel that in these battles um like in the noctowl matchup it takes over two ice punches to take it out because the claws are resisted as opposed to like the shadow version would just be an easy two uh so th there's little things like that that you you feel with the non-shadow so again I, if you have a shadow to build up i would i would suggest building the shadow up um but again shadow claws is such a great charge move 
Ice Punch is spammy and good coverage for Flyers, which is there's a lot of Joe Run. Again, Joe Run is a good coverage for a lot of Pokemon too. Like Lantern and the Owl core there, you have answers for both now. My other only problem is that you're double weak to fighting. And Matacham is on 85% of the championship teams and like 95% of the great GBL teams that I run into. So when you just get like absolutely shredded by Metacham and other fighters, like, and I, I'm running a non-shadow version and I get shredded. The sh- the shadow version 100% gets shredded, right? Um, so that is sort of my only drawback to a sand slash. So the other problem with this team is why, besides the double triple fire problem, is that Sandslash and Venusaur are both very, very glossy, and you kind of need shields for both. So with that, I don't know if you want to do that. Venusaur is like a kind of like a glass cannon, right? Frenzy just hits like a truck, um, but you're very glossy, especially in the Great League. So I would probably build around two bulkier Pokemon. Um, that can that can absorb some damage here. I think this is the last battle. Defense the Oxus, so good lead here. They're going to go... I mean, they shielded, so I may shield back. I sometimes do that on the lead. If they're shielding and I'm in like a neutralist situation here... Actually, it's probably better than neutral, quite honestly, because the counters are resisted. I will just shield back. Um, and they're double shielding. So what do they have that they are double shielding a defense Deoxys on the lead here? Um, again, I will let this go because my back two Pokemon need shields. So I will definitely just let this go and save the shields in the back here. They're going to have to throw here, which is fine. And then I can come in and probably Vine Whip a few times, especially that they're going to Psycho Boost and lower their attack. Uh, the only problem is they could, I was going to say, they could Psycho Boost me. Um, I already talked about how Venusaur has an amazing matchup against Sableye neutrally. Um, it's got a hell of a matchup when you are up 100 energy. Not 100 energy, but a few energy there. I could shield and farm. Yeah, this is just an easy shield and farm. Come out with a move. Take this out. If the Defense Deoxys comes back in, I'm going to Frenzy it before it gets a Psycho Boost off. Um, if they come in, whatever's in the back, I'm so far ahead on energy. And they're still Switch Locked. And they come in here. They're almost at a Psycho Boost, so I'm just going to throw it right away. And we will see what is in the back. It is an Umbreon. And you are now, I'm just taking the first one um, just because I didn't want to, I'm trying to for fast move timing and I got that extra f Vine Whip in there. And now fast move timing properly. I will get this Frenzy off. I may try and catch, or can I get to the second one before they get to, I can get to the second one now, CMP here. Or the, it would have been CMP if they threw, but I think they're just trying to farm down at this point. But Two frenzies, Venusaur basically sweeping this team here. Uh, I can live a foul play here with ease, and I'll get to a move because I'm pretty spammy for the win. Um, so that is the team. Like I said, try Venusaur. Think it's worth building if you don't have one yet. I, I mean, if you don't have them yet, don't TM Frenzy away. I'm sure there's other times to get it. Um, but Frenzy is one of those things worth TMing, and I think Venusaur is sneaky strong right now. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do one more. What day is this? Wednesday? I think I got one, at least one more also Great League team coming this week. Um, yeah, the, the Great League team I'm going to do is the underrated, not underrated, but like the very super strong limited meta Pokemon. Um, so that video will be later this afternoon. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.